Welcome back to comics, to Hot Comics TV and Gigant number three. <laughs> How the hell am I going to show this? Oh my god. I mean, Papika's always naked and there's always things that happen that... Okay, let's get this out of the way. This is not for kids, okay? So, you know what you're here. You know what you're doing by lo looking at this channel and watching this show as well. Okay, let's talk about Gigant, number three. So, Papiko loses her clothes because she grows very, very big as Ultraman, I guess. Yeah, yeah, or Godzilla, whatever you want it, whatever you want. And she's rescuing, on, in the last episode, she was rescuing Ray from getting crushed by a demon. So, there you go, I see Papiko getting being gigantic and fighting these demons because these demons have appeared and all of these weird events are taking place on the world so yeah i think that hiroya oku is having a jab at western comics i guess western culture as well <laughs> invader uh, instead of calling it alien so papika is fighting at this grand scale this demon thing and okay Guess we can show that. So she's fighting right now this monster demon thing that is just popping up and appearing out of nowhere. So yeah, because she got the power from this dude, right? Um, and she can grow at command. This guy, this this cosmonaut. This ultra knot, whatever you want to call it, time traveler, um, before he died, he sort of transferred his this contraption in his arm to her hand, to her arm, and now she can sort of grow big. That's a contraption, big and small, a, a command. So <laughs> it's Ray. Ray's always crying. Oh my god, what a, what a, what a, what a wimp. So, uh, anyway, she's uh, fighting like crazy against this monster, and we don't know if Papika is going to be able to survive this. But because Papika can sort of grow big and small, she's going to... Yeah. There's so much gore on this manga. So, she saves the day, I would say, on this issue, and true romance, I guess, happens. I guess... Ray's mom and dad are gonna accept Papiko. I mean, Ray's dad's not the problem. It's it's Ray's mom who doesn't like Papiko because Papiko used to be on a, her her work life was on a on a set of adult oriented movies. Oh uh, yeah, this is happening in America. <laughs> Mr. Puff and Fresh from Ghostbusters is like fighting the American guy. So the American dude um, grows big with his clothes. But Pico doesn't have the technology of clothing, I guess. Um, so, yeah, that's what's happening on this episode so far. And I forgot about this. And yeah, she gets back to her apartment, to the dog. And the dog is still, you know... They, he's been watching TV all day. Like I used to when I was a little kid. <laughs> uh, so, Papika right now, it's a full relate in a full relationship with Ray. And because of her the nature of her previous employment. Ray, um, yeah, 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 okay, 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 let's take a look, blah, 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 probably the best way to go about it, yeah, 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 okay, 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 so, uh, his schoolmates are kind of like going, oh, you're going out with a girl, it's like, um, actress of adult-oriented features, <laughs> So that's the type of the type of thing that's happening, and she's exploding into fame because she's rescued um, Japan. 
Ah, uh, UFO. So it's a little weird. All of these weird science fictions happening on these manga. So it's... ah, they're getting kidnapped. People are getting kidnapped now. So on the previous episodes, dragons were flying around. Feces flew from the sky. Like feces were raining down from the sky down to earth, and a massive like spaceship was kind of sort of hovering around the stratosphere of Earth and yeah oh wow so more weird wackiness is happening gigantic kids are appearing in the school oh yeah and Raid's about to get kidnapped on this one I forgot about that uh, these people, it's like Gantz, dude. These gigantic people are just devouring people. Mm. Oh no. Just killing kids at random. Now, do I recommend this manga? Yes, I do. To all the grown ups. Anybody above the age of uh, 18, go pick up this manga. If you cannot pick it up, there's many ways to you, that you can go about reading this sort of material. Oh wow, they're shooting them. Um, so yeah, you, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to sell it or tell you what to do. I am pretty sure that you can sort of look it up. Um, if not, support Oku's work and buy the manga. Because I want to see more madness like this. This is just insane good fun. Wackiness, look at these, the Yakuza. Gigantic Yakuza. Oh, goodness. He does stuff. <laughs> That's like Gantz. Um, he does stuff to fuel of nightmare, you know? Nightmarish sort of scenarios. Just quite outstanding work. Oh, no. They're coming in to kidnap him. Ugh. Anyway, that's Gantz. Oh, I mean Gantz. What am I saying? Gigant number three. <laughs> I highly recommend this. So go read it as whatever way you can. Um, thank you so much for your time. Please like and subscribe and all those good things. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye bye.